Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss another lead core problem, and the problem name is wildcard matching. So here, what we are given is so basically we are given two strings as an input. One is the actual string, and another string it is a pattern. Okay. So here. in the pattern we are given two constraint so basically if you see over here so when the character is the question mark so it says that it matches with a single character and it can be any character and another is in if it in in the pattern if it is a star then it can match to any sequence of the character so it can be empty or it can be like if one star is there so it can match with a to z uh, any kind of characters or alphabets so what we have to do is basically we have to return the output in terms of true or false so when the s and p a, both the strings are given so we have to check whether the particular pattern gets fully matched with the string set so for example in the example one if we consider so here the string given is a a and the pattern is p so here it is straight forward so the length of the p in this case so for the first, this pattern's first character that is a gets matched with the character a in the string 1 so but in this case we are left with 1a remaining so that's why the output is false even if you see that explanation a doesn't match with the entire string a a now considering the example second okay so here a a is the string and if the pattern is given is star so as i said one star can match with any number of alphabets or characters so here one the star can represent to the first star and the similar same star can take as a uh, take it forward so again this star gets matched with this a and there the string gets terminated so that's why the output is true so here we let's uh, get into the elaboration part so here if we take a look at this so again like uh, let's take one more example so example 3 here the string is given as a cb and the pattern is question mark and a so question mark can be mapped to the c and a is not getting mapped with the b so that's why the output is false so here basically we can uh, have the number of conclusion so for example let's say if the characters like the uh, character at the i position in the pattern which gets match with the character at the i position in the string so in that case we can move forward this is the simple positive base case another thing is let's say we are at the end of the uh, what like let's say length of the string one and let's uh, a and uh, b is the length of the pattern so and uh, if we keep the, keep the two indices like i for the string and uh, s and j for the string p so if those are at the end of the indices so again we can say like this is a true case okay so uh, there are number of test cases uh, or we can say number of base cases over here so let's get into the code part and i will explain it uh, first at a high level and then we we will see one by one okay so we are going to solve this with the help of dynamic programming and we are going to take uh, here the recursive approach and uh, after that we will optimize it with the memoization so let's get into the code part so this is the is match function is given and uh, it has to return the boolean value at it can be true or false and here in this we are given this two strings parameter uh, two inputs parameter one is the string and another is the pattern so what i am doing over here is uh, i am going to write a simple dfs function which traverses from zero to the length of the string as well as to the pattern so initially here in this dfs function it accepts the four parameter first is the string second is the pattern and there are two indices one is uh, for the string s yes, and second is for the string p that is a pattern <coughs> so here inside this dfs function initially i am starting at the 00th location for both string and s and for string pattern okay so here my first 
base case and this is yeah before that on here i am globally defining one memoization hash map so we will get into that part but just uh, make a note of this here we are defining the string and the as a key and boolean that is a return value for that particular string or that state so at every position we are calculating the strength uh, state of the uh, indices like what g i and g okay so here the first condition if we take a look at this so if my i is at the length of the s and j is at the length of the p okay so in this case it should return me the true value because we have successfully traversed the list so that, that is what the positive scenario okay let's say if at the case number 2 okay if my j indices at the end of the length of the pattern so in and it means that there are some elements we are left with it so that's why in this case string is not fully traversed so in this case or uh, let's consider it in a this way if i is uh, somewhere in the middle or uh, at some places uh, and the j is reached at the end position so in this in that case we don't have any more patterns to match with our string so that's why it returns the false value let's keep this condition aside for now and we will move to the next stage so for example if my i is at the end of the string so in this case what we have is we can have the two operations the first operation is let's say if my character of the so my j indices is having the star as a character okay and we have to traverse because let's say if we get a a as the string and consider uh, consider if or uh, we can consider it in this way if the s is empty and j a is having the star as a pattern so in that case what we, uh, what can be the case i is equal to the length of the string and uh, j character is star yeah so we have to further dig dive into the pattern to because we have to reach till the end of the pattern string so it can be the case like uh, s can be the empty string and j is uh, having only the star character so in that case it will give me the it should give me the true output okay now coming to the else if condition let's say if the character at uh, j character in the pattern is star so and again and uh, if uh, the i is not at the end so in that case what we can have we can have the two option one option is we can consider the mapping of that i character uh, the uh, s i character with the star or we can uh, just move forward so if we consider it as a like, uh, let's say if we consider as it as a match so what we can do is we can keep uh, the, the i pointer for the string s to the next one and keep the j as it is or another string is we can stay at the i element of uh, string s yes, but we can skip that star character so that's why j plus 1 is there so again it returns either true or false if it is not the case if the character is not star let's say if the character it can be the question mark or if it is a matching character is the strings uh, from string s let's say it is a and again from the string p if it is a so in that it can be the case or it can be the question mark in the pattern so again it is a valid situation so in this case we just have to move the pointer of i and j by plus 1 so it goes for the next matching character if it is not the case so at in if all the above conditions are not satisfied so in that case it will simply return the false because it can be the two different character sets at that particular i and j location so we didn't return false now coming so if we uh, if we run this program without the memoization so there can be chances it gives us the time limit exceeded tle in the for the, when i submitted this problem so i got a tle for one of the test cases so 
for that what i need needed to do is i have used this memoization hash map so the, here i have created this memoization hash map and for every state what i am doing is after calculating this b value i am simply putting this b value over here so whenever so this way what will happen like for every i and j i am creating a i underscore j as a key and i am simply putting the that state value inside this hash map or this memoization table and this way it will avoid to compute the same states again and again so if now coming back to this line so here it can say that if the particular state is pre calculated so it will simply return its pre calculated value map dot get i underscore j so this will this way it will reduce the number of overheads or number of calls in the recursion tree earlier the time complexity if you consider it is 2 to the power n but with the help of this memoization the space sorry the time complexity reduces to the big of n and again in terms of the space complexity we are keeping the hash map so again it is a big of n over here so let me run this program and let's see the output of this okay so here we got the success and let's see the test coverage part okay so here it has covered all the 1809 test cases over here so that's it for now i have posted the solution on the github and i have up uploaded the link of the github solution in the description section below so you can refer to the, uh, refer it for the full solution and if you like this video please do the do like this video share this video and comment this video also you can subscribe to my channel to get the more updates and uh, thank you for now and stay tuned for the next one